So today I'm going to be doing this dark blue smoky eye look with a very dark lip. I'm very excited about this look because I feel like a lot of people try to steer away from wearing blue eyeshadow. Like they think it's like a rule of society that you cannot wear blue eyeshadow because blue eyeshadow is bad. But I think the complete opposite and I figured if we're going to break one rule, might as well break another, which is wearing blue lipstick because not many people do that. If you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching and make sure you subscribe and thumbs up this video if you want to see more like it. So first I'm going to start off using my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer and I love this primer because it's super hydrating, but it doesn't make my skin any more oily than I already am because I am pretty oily in my T-zone. So I just go ahead and I put that all over my face. Next I'm going in with the Benefit Professional Mattifying Primer and I'm putting this in my T-zone because of the fact that, like I just said, I am more oily in this area. And I just go ahead and I rub that in until it's just a little bit tacky. Next I'm taking a Lancome um, eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to rub this all over my eyes. And then I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Quad. This is in the shade Smoke and I'm taking that base color and I'm just going to very sloppily just kind of put this all over the inside of my crease. Like I said, you don't have to worry about this being perfect. It does not need to be perfect at all as we're just using this as a base shade to help blend out later on in the process. Then I'm going to take this darker purple shade right next to that base shade and I'm going to apply this inside of my crease just a little bit below where we just put that original color and this again is just to help blend out and add dimension later on in this look. So don't worry if this looks very choppy and sloppy right now because we are going to clean it up in a little bit. So we're just going to do that to both sides. So now I'm going to take the Urban Decay Spectrum palette and I'm going to take the darkest shade of blue right here which is called Prank and I'm going to just go ahead and start in circular motions, oh I cannot talk right now, in circular motions apply this to my crease on the outer side and I'm going to smoke this all the way inside my crease and this is extremely messy and that's okay though because we're going to apply layers and it's all going to work out in the end. But this is the scariest part, honestly. You want to blend until your fingers bleed. Next, I'm going to take the second shade in, and that's called Evidence. It's a little bit lighter of a blue, and I'm going to start from the inside. I'm going to start blending that into my eyelid. This is going to make my total lid pop and give dimension to my eye. Even though this is a smoky look, I don't want my eyelid to look like all one color like most smoky looks are. I do want there to be an obvious contrast of blue in there. So now I'm going to take Madness, which is the lightest shade, and I'm going to just spray it with some MAC Fix Plus real fast. That's just going to make it shine a little bit brighter. And I'm going to add that to the center of my eye using a packing brush. You can use any brush that you want for this, honestly, but I find it easiest with this brush. Next, I'm going to just smoke out that top and blend it all together now with just a blending brush. I'm going to wipe away all of that fallout. This is why I do not do my foundation first when doing a smoky eye look. Next, I'm just going to take the lightest purple shade and I'm going to go ahead and highlight my inner corner of my eyes with this purple shade. This is not something that normally is done. Normally use a white for this, but I think purple is a great contrast for blue. And personally, I love the color purple, which is why my hair is purple. So I'm just going to highlight with this lighter purple shade. I believe it's called Opal. Next, I'm going to take a combination of all three of those dark blue shades. And I'm going to go ahead and just smoke out my waterline. And I'm going to have the darkest colors on the outside and then blending into the lighter colors on the inside. Then I'm going to tight line my waterline using a black gold pencil. This is by Urban Decay. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid. And this is the green one. And green canceled out red, as I've said before. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over my red areas. I have a naturally super red face, especially my cheeks and my forehead. I don't know why, but that's just how my skin wants to be. So I'm just going to blend that out with a beauty blender. Then I'm going to go in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid 
This is in the shade Champagne Pop. It just came out with the Beckwood Times Jaclyn Hill collection. And I'm going to mix that with my foundation. This is the Marc Jacobs Full Coverage Face Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. It is extremely full coverage. It's very matte. But by mixing these two together, I'm going to get a more of a dewy finish. And I'm going to have that nice shine to my face as well. Obviously, mixing these two products together is not necessary. and You don't really need to do it. Although I do have an oily face and this foundation is so matte that sometimes I do want a little bit more dewiness but I just love this foundation too much to give it up. I am in the shade 12 I believe and honestly if you can afford this foundation I would definitely pick it up. It would be a staple in your collection. I know it is my absolute go-to foundation right now. Next I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And I absolutely love this concealer. It does not crease, it does not bunch up, it does not make me look cakey, it's just absolutely amazing. I apply that all over my under eye area, on my nose, my forehead, and on my chin. And then I just go ahead and I'm gonna blend that all out. Using my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm going to just set my under eyes that way to ensure that that definitely does not crease. I'm also going to set my nose and my forehead just a little bit um, so that throughout the day when I do get oily, I stay pretty matte and that oil will not seep in my makeup. I'm just going to wipe away that powder. Next using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, I'm going to take my NARS Eda brush and I'm just going to sculpt out and contour just a little bit today. And I always start up at the top of my ear and I blend down and I make sure that I don't go too far down or else it's going to give more of a drag queen effect than something that's a little more wearable. And I'm just going to blend, blend, blend literally until my fingers bleed. I always make sure I do my forehead and a little bit under my chin just because I have a double chin and I want that to be gone. That is not cute. I'm also going to use a small contouring brush. This is just an e.l.f. brush. I think it's like $3. And I'm going to sculpt out my nose. I always do this because I don't like my nose. And although it does draw attention to my nose, it makes it look more snatched and it makes me just feel better. And I am baking underneath that contour just a little bit and then I'm just gonna let it sit for a few seconds and then wipe that away. And using my Jaclyn Hill face palette, which I was so excited to get, you guys have no idea, I'm going to be taking the two mineral blush shades, Amaretto and Pample Mousse, I believe is how you pronounce it, I don't know. And I'm going to take my favorite blush brush, which isn't even a blush brush, I think this is a contouring brush. I'm going to start at the apples of my cheeks and just blend upwards. And now we're gonna wipe away, like I said that we were already doing it. <laughs> so I'm just going to wipe away all the loose powder on my face. Next I'm going to be mixing Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop from the, this face palette. And I'm just using a small um, long haired synthetic brush to do this. And I'm focusing that highlight on my apples and my cheeks and I'm just brushing that upwards. And I will do a little bit on my nose, the bridge of my nose, and a, just a tiny bit on my forehead just to add a little dimension to my face. Next, using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pro Made, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows. And this is a process. I'm pretty sure I had to edit out like 10 minutes of me doing my brows because they're so uneven and I just have to fix them all the time. Next, I'm just going to curl my lashes really quick, which honestly, I don't do that much. But I figured, why not? Because I'm adding fake lashes today, which is also something I don't do that much. But first, I'm going to apply a coat of mascara. And I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And honestly, this has become... One of my favorite mascara, you guys, like you have no idea. Normally I don't go for high-end mascaras because they're expensive and I love my CoverGirl and L'Oreal and all those Rimmel London mascaras and I just really like this one though. Next I am taking the Vegas May Eye Lore Lashes and this is the classic charm lashes and I'm just applying those on and this was also a process this probably took me a good like 20 minutes to get these even because i never ever do that and i'm just using some gel liner to make those lashes look like they belong on my face next i'm going to just blend out that harsh line that i took that i created um, with that makeup brush or wipe earlier and this way everything just looks a little bit more put together i'm going to put a little slight highlight underneath my brow bone which i normally also don't Next, using the Jeffree Star Velour Lipstick in the shade Abused. This is a dark blue lipstick. It's not for everybody. And most people would say it's not wearable, but honestly, I wear it in public all the time. I absolutely love this lipstick. And these lipsticks are probably my favorite lipsticks ever. They're extremely matte, but 
they stay on when you're eating, they stay on when you're drinking, everything. They're absolutely amazing. I really do love these lipsticks and although they come in very strange shades, like I have a bright purple one, I have a black one, they do come in wearable shades too. So I'll link um, his website down below so you guys can check them out. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys like it and I hope that it is pretty easy for you guys to achieve too. You can, don't have to just use blue, you can use any color you want. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Today, get it together.